Our next guest is going to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome a terrific actor, Corbin Burnson. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey. Right. Why? Hey. Why do you collect? Why do I collect snow globes? Well, I'll tell you, when I did L.A. Law, you know, they send you around the country and all these press junkets and all the affiliates, and people would give you a hat or a T-shirt or a... And some people gave me a snow globe. I had this little wooden pine box that my father-in-law had given me and my wife. And when I got home, I took all the snow globes one by one and I put them in this box. And it was one day I sat back and went, wow, that's Andy Warhol. You know, because <laughs> you look at them all together, if you see the collection, 9,000 of them, they're all in a room at my office. Wow. It's like pop art. It's an installation. 9, so one off, they're cool. They each have a story. So you are, are you always looking to buy a new one? I am, but I, I, it slowed down a little bit because my kids, my kids can give a rat's ass about it, to be honest with you. So, you know, as you get older, you go, what am I going to do with this thing now? And I've actually contemplated selling the collection or putting it somewhere, traveling it, getting you a semi. Yeah. Yeah. I know, there we I'm go. Interested. Okay, there you go. There you, know you, know me. you know me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure it goes somewhere where people can see the it. First can and appreciate it. Yeah. How are they made? How are they made? Well, yeah. they used to be made in China. Some of them are, and they were hand painted, which is unique. Uh, what is know, this one? Is there a price that's that's New York, and it's great to size the World Trade Center in there. So, oh. uh, yeah, that's a cool one. The plastic ones oh. were made by hand in China. They're painted, bottled up, water. And uh, usually the, the bottle ones you can't refill. A lot of the smaller ones that are actually domes you can refill. Now, this one is really unusual. Well, that what happened was, so after these 25 snow globes I got uh, at the beginning of L.A. Law, I was in an uh, antique store in Pasadena, and I went, oh, that's one of those things. And, uh, you know, because I didn't know, I didn't even know what it was at that point. It was Watermelon Boy. It was a souvenir of New Orleans, a bit obviously mm. racist at the little time. A little racist. But <laughs> it, the, the, uh, the, the price tag is still on the back. It was $240. I wow. think it says 240 or 295. something. 295 295 Well, maybe I got a bargain. <laughs> Good. It makes it better. It so it, uh, I don't, again, I'm, I'm not really sure. It's really hard to track what these are worth. You can go on and see. They're see worth something. what someone wants They're to pay. They're worth what somebody wants to pay. You know what don't I fiddle with is, the price tag. Can we trace the inception of snow globes? Yeah, it goes, the snow globes go back to the Paris Expo, and I, I, I should probably know this. It's 1893 or 1896. Wow. They were a souvenir. And that's that's the holy grail. I have a house in France. We go to this thing called Vide Grenets, which are flea markets. Sure, and we go every Sunday. My wife has no <laughs> idea. But I mean, I'm turning over <laughs> crap left and right going, where's that Paris Expo? Where's the Paris <laughs> Expo? There's only a couple of them out there. You know, that's that's the part that makes it unique for me, like the Batman one right there, the little that little Batman one. When the series was on in the 60s, I think they syndicated it to Europe. To, and the, whoever put them out, wh wh bought the syndication rights, made this snow globe. They made like 600 of them or something. Well, they never got the permission to actually make them, so they made them destroy all of them but two. Wow. And that's one wow. of the two. Oh. So what that creates it. I paid about 600. I paid about 600 for wow. that. When I've seen it online, you can get for. Uh, yeah, flying through yeah. the snow. The other Some one, the other guy. Yeah. It's, Some of them give you more snow than others. Yeah, well, that one's got me in it. That's why. That's uh, oh, yeah. from Major League. I did a. Oh, that's I did great a. Movie. They did a in Akron, Ohio, where I've made a couple of films. They did a Roger Dorn snow globe day. In, very and cool. And, um, this yeah. looks very rare, though. This well, this is be... okay. That is what the most I've ever paid for a snow globe. When I first started, pre 1990, there's no internet, there's no Google, there's no trading online. So there was this thing called Snowbiz. <laughs> which was this little magazine <laughs> that, that you would that I that I subscribed awesome. to. Very, very high. That end. I subscribed to. <laughs> and this woman put out this thing and it had these shows where we'd get together. Anyway, I went wow. to one of these shows. And by this time I'm on LA Law. So I you know, I can't walk into a room without the price being jacked up. Of course. And you know, there's a guy who had this for sale. He says one of a kind, one in the world. And I had checked with a couple of people there was. Wow. And it was for whatever reason, this skull and crossbones. And I paid at the time, uh, I think about six fifty four, six something right around in there. And wow. as far as I know, it's only one in the world. People say, "Why, well, Corbin? What are you collecting snow globes for?" You know, it's interesting because you have one of the biggest things, the biggest collections in the world. Do you something. think you have the yeah. most in the world? No, I think there's, you know, there, there, there's a guy in Japan. I think it's got one that might be a little bit more, but I don't know, eight thousand, nine thousand, twelve. I mean, yeah, when you get up to those numbers, it's I, I know, I'm in, the, I know, I'm in the top ten and top ten in this life. One of the weirdest, and we yeah. got to take a break, but one. One of the weirdest things is McKaylee, who is behind this collector's cafe, yeah. is going to wind up buying everything that comes on the show. <laughs> he's a collector and he's a nut. We, we yes. will. Uh, we will. You guys will have your we, side discussion. Right. And I do have one for you because I know you got a gift. 
before, some shoes. Over there, that bottle. That's New York, and then you're from Brooklyn. Down there, the bottle there. That's, that's a New York Globe. They still got wow. the World Trade Center in it, so I want you to have that. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, that you. is you know, so that's nice. That's your one to your room. That was what number Brooklyn or boy. whatever in my collection. It, everything is cataloged. Thank you, Corbin. Thanks. Yeah, sure. That was, that was great. so sweet. Thank you. Whatever Thank you, you for coming in to show. <laughs> I can do this for you. Okay. Uh, Corbin, you thank Corbin. you for coming in to share your collection with me, Corbin <laughs> Burnson, everyone. All of them. All right. Let it snow. <laughs>